Hi there! Welcome to the Daily Mana. Just as our body is in need of material food, so as our soul is in need of the Word of the Lord. Recently, I went to Davao del Sur to teach the off-campus creative preaching class of Alliance graduates of the Alliance Graduate School. And at the end of it, I was asked also to preach at Kapatagan area. And uh, I went to the church. When I arrived at the church, it was a beautiful place with a very cold weather. When we arrived there, I saw two buildings in the uh, right in front of the car where we stopped. One was small and old. The other is big and new. And then the pastor told me that the small and old building was the church before. But now there is a new one that is given to them by the Lord. A new building with a beautiful color and a bigger one this moment. And they are so grateful to God for it. You know, in a church, it's not only the building that changes. Because primarily, God also changes the people. In fact, in the history of the Apostle Paul's life, in the story of the Apostle Paul's life, there is really an extreme change that God in his life from somebody who is a persecutor to someone who formulates whatever is the message of the gospel that he received from the Lord Jesus Christ or the group that they called the way. But one time, Paul was uh, interrogated many times, in fact, but in one of those interrogations, he was questioned by Festus and Agrippa. And this is recorded in Acts 26, beginning with verse 12 onwards. We will read up to verse 16 of this chapter. Acts 26, 12 to 16. Luke said here, While so engaged as I was journeying to Damascus with the authority and commission of the chief priest, at midday, O king, O king, I saw on the way a light from heaven, brighter than the sun, shining all around me and those who were journeying with me. And when he had all fallen, we had all fallen to the ground, I heard a voice saying to me in the Hebrew dialect, Soul, soul, why are you persecuting me? It is hard for you to kick against the goads. And I said, Who are you, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and stand on your feet. For this purpose, I have appeared to you to appoint you a minister and a witness, not only to the things which you have seen, but also to the things in which I will appear to you. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. Paul this time was a persecutor, but during this moment, he was already retelling what he experienced in Acts chapter 9. Because if you really want to trace the conversion experience of the Apostle Paul, it is recorded in Acts chapter 9. And then he's just retelling what had happened to him in chapter 9 as he was testifying before King Agrippa also in the presence of Festus. Now when he told this, it was so evident about the change that he experienced in the power and work of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit of God. Because if you look at the earlier chapters of the book of Acts, you would see Paul as a persecutor. He persecutes the believers. He persecutes the church. He runs after them. Wherever there are people gathering that is, that is called the way, that's how the early believers were called. The group of their gathering was called the way. Wherever he knew that they were he goes there and tries to destruct them and destroy them. So the Apostle Paul was truly somebody who persecuted the believers. But in that encounter with Jesus, he was totally changed. He was transformed. And that is clearly stated here when he retells this story. When he said in verse 16, quoting the Lord himself, For this purpose, he said, have appeared, I have appeared to you to appoint you a minister and a witness, not only to the things which you have seen, but also the things in which I will appear to you. So from somebody who persecutes to someone who will be proclaiming the message of the Lord Jesus Christ, he was totally 
change. And this is one thing I learned about being a believer or a follower of Jesus. Those whom God saves, He changes. Those whom He changes, He uses. It's my prayer that we would learn to, uh, that we would see this in our lives as reality. Yes, we have been saved by the grace of Jesus and we are in the process called sanctification, a process of transformation. And as He does that to us with all, with, with our willing hearts, He will as well continue to use every one of us for His kingdom, for His glory and honor. I'll repeat that line. Whom God saves, He changes. Whom He changes, He uses. May we all find ourselves being not only saved but transformed and being used for God's kingdom. Let me pray for you. Lord, thank you for the salvation that you have given us. But your work of transformation only starts by the time we become believers of Jesus. This has been exemplified in the life of the Apostle Paul. He was a persecutor, but you transformed him totally to a different person, somebody who proclaims, somebody to somebody who announces the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You truly changed him and you have, been, you, you have used him a lot of times in different fields, in different kinds of people that he faced just for your name to be known. Thank you for this truth that we have learned today. And as you continue your work in our respective lives, I pray that you will as well continue to use us for your kingdom. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning or good day and God bless you all. Thank <laughs> you.